Subscribe to Get Curried and click on the bell icon for more updates. Hi, I'm Tarika Singh, welcoming you to Get Curried. Today I'm going to show you two really good variations on how to cook eggs for breakfast so that you're not usually stuck with the regular options. We're going to make a boiled egg bhurji and a Parsi speciality called Sali Par Idu. So let's get started. I've got four hard boiled eggs here, which I'm just going to slice up for our boiled egg bhurji. So first I'm going to cut it into half and then cut those halves into half. So one egg in four pieces. I'm going to start with heating up some oil. Now that the oil is hot, I'm going to add two small bay leaves and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now to this, I'm going to add one onion that's just been chopped up finely. Saute that till it's a bit translucent. The onions are nicely sauteed. So now I'm going to add one green chilli that's been chopped up finely. A teaspoon of finely chopped garlic. And another teaspoon of finely chopped ginger. Now I'm just going to cook this till the raw smell of the ginger and garlic goes away. Now I'm going to add one tomato that's again been chopped up finely. Stir that in. To this I'm going to add a bit of salt, a teaspoon of red chilli powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, a teaspoon of jeera powder and half a teaspoon of some garam masala. Just cook this mixture really well with the masalas. This masala is so beautifully cooked and it's really fragrant. So I'm going to turn off the heat now and just very gently add the eggs and coat them in this masala. Our first egg dish is absolutely ready to serve and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of coriander. It's time to start with our second dish. This is Sali Par Idu, which is basically Sali, that's this potato wafers that are nice and thin. If you can't find these, then just use crushed up potato wafers. That should be good too. So I'm going to start with heating up some oil in the pan. Now that the oil has heated up, I'm going to add half an onion that's been chopped up finely. I'm going to cook this till the onions are translucent. Now that the onions are translucent, I'm going to add one green chilli that's been chopped up finely a teaspoon of finely chopped garlic. You can also use ginger and garlic paste. A teaspoon of finely chopped ginger. And just cook these till the raw smell goes away. Now I'm going to add two medium sized tomatoes that have been chopped up again finely. Now to this, I'm going to add 
just a tiny pinch of raw sugar. This is about balancing flavors. You can use jaggery as well. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Now there's no need to add too much salt in this recipe because the sully or the potato crisps that we're using already have a lot of salt in them. So go easy on the salt. A teaspoon of red chili powder, a teaspoon of coriander powder. and a teaspoon of jeera powder now mix the masalas really well into the tomato mixture and let it cook now that this tomato mixture is cooked really well i'm going to add the sully we're going to use about 1 cup of sully just add it in batches and coat it in the tomato mixture Now that the sully is just perfectly coated in the masala mixture, I'm just going to make two little indents here, just making space to add the eggs. I'm just pouring the egg right here, very gently, and add the second egg as well. Now just cover this pan. and let the eggs cook on a low flame now i like to leave the yolk slightly runny so i'm going to leave it that way till it cooks through let's check on the eggs they're perfectly cooked which means that we're ready to serve them i'm just going to grind some pepper over the eggs our two egg excellent dishes are ready to eat right now i really hope that you will try these at home and when you do leave a comment like this video share it with your friends and of course subscribe to get curried